right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 10th of February, and uh, man, that January just flew by. We've got so many great events in February. Man, this one month is going to be gone before you know it. Just like these wines from Moschione, one of my favorite producers. And you know, I love wines that speak volumes about the place where they come from. And hey, this is an area, Friuli, more specifically, Colli Orientale de Friuli, that, uh, well, is much, known much more for its whites than its reds, but this producer makes some of the greatest red wines, not only from this region, but from anywhere in the world. And uh, these are really unique varietals, and uh, Pignolo, Schipettino, Refusco, uh, Tazzalange are grapes that most people have never heard of, but um, they are just incredibly unique. And this producer uh, makes a tiny amount of each one of these mines, wines, just a few hundred cases. And uh, he uses some interesting techniques, the Apesimento style, Da Forno Romano, one of his heroes. So he dries the grapes, and the dry extract levels of these wines are off the charts meaning uh, they're more solid than liquid. And, you know, when reviewers like Robert Parker called wines kinky and pornographic, uh, he's used just about every other description you could use to describe a wine. But like I said, these are really unique. The 2004 vintage, the best vintage from these, this producer that I've ever had. So when I saw a sale on the Magnums and the remaining inventory at the distributor, I bought everything that they had, which isn't a lot. Some of these wines we just have six magnums of, some 12, uh, some a little bit more than that. But the Pignolo, always one of my favorite grapes. This wine, very exotic, seductive, black cherry fruit, layers of spice, black earth, and a wonderful, unique minerality to this wine that is similar in all of them. Just incredible concentration richness in this wine, exotic spice, dark chocolate espresso, and a very long finish. I would guess you could keep these 2004s 10 20 years or longer. The Real, which is a blend of Tazzalange, Cabernet and Merlot, yes, he does use some international varietals here, also has got an incredible aroma, sweet tobacco spice, bittersweet chocolate, notes of green grass, kind of black cherry, plum-like fruit, really big and chewy. This wine's got wonderful underlying acidity, though, and a long, complex finish, most excellent juice. Hey, several of these wines have gotten my highest rating, killer, most excellent, and uh, the Refusco, their entry-level wine, even outstanding. Lots of concentration here, that black cherry and blackberry fruit, intense spice and toasty notes, licorice, violets, uh, really intriguing bouquet here, very unique. And these wines all have got incredible richness, but at the same time, wonderful balance and freshness on the finish. The Celtico Rosso, which is a 50-50 Cabernet Merlot, 100% organically produced like all of these wines are. Like I said, incredibly low yields lead to concentrated wines. All of these wines, incredibly rich and concentrated, but they've got balance and the acidity to last for decades in your cellar. We've got incredible sale on these wines. If you look at the discounted prices, uh, some of them 30% off, and uh, they won't last for long. Like I said, most of them we only have a few bottles or one or two cases of. So check it out. One of my favorite producers in the store, Moschione. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.